Here is uh, Donald Trump. This is one of those things where it's like, oh, if only. I wish Donald Trump was not just uh, commentating on this, but actually in charge of making this happen. Um, Kamala Harris is, I should just say, and maybe this doesn't need to be said, but I think it's important that we do. It turns out she's not a communist. Um, Are you sure? Sorry to let that. Well, I don't know. Let's, let's check in with Donald Trump. Massively raising your taxes. She wants to take away your private health care. There are many people. But pause it for one second. If you go back. This- like, he just seems so bored by this. Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, there's, like. There's no crowd to feed off of. No. He's uh, massively c- cutting your taxes. Well, that doesn't seem like, I mean, he's presenting it as if it's not that big of a deal. He should have some of that Folgers that's right next to him. <laughs> oh, incidentally, did he ever get to the food? Or is that just I, like, he, he let all that, like, uh, that, that meat? I think it's, I think it's a grocery prop. The sun. Oh, There's yeah. bacon and Folgers and like, de- like deli meat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Rationing and deadly wait times while massively raising your taxes. She wants to take away your private health care. There are many people in this country who spend a lot of money on private health care. It's the best health care in the world, by the way. But they want to do it. They worked hard to make money, and they want to do it. Under her, you're not going to have private health care plans like, anymore. Can we, can we just stop there and just enjoy he could he, like he he's so um he seems so uninterested that he can't even riff on this like you know people spending a lot of money on private health care because they love it because they want to well i guess a lot I, of money on yeah but then he says well, what do you gotta do like people make a lot of money and you gotta let him do it so he's saying you spent americans spend a lot of money on health care but it's the, because it's the best healthcare in the world, and the insurers they have to do it because they want to make money. <laughs> Winning message. In this country, who spend a lot of money on private healthcare, it's the best healthcare in the world, by the way. But they want to do it. They worked hard to make money, and they want to do it. Under her, you're not going to have private healthcare plans anymore. And you can be a wealthy person or a middle income person and you want to spend on a really good plan, better than a government plan could be, far better. And you're not going to be allowed. You're all going to be thrown into a communist system. It's a communist system. You're going to be thrown into a system where everybody gets health care. You wait for your doctor like 10 months, 12 months, 11 months. You got to see some of these plans how they work in other countries, it's disgraceful. So private health care is gone. She wants it out. Now, she could change on that, and she might change on that. She's changed on everything. But I said, why are you changing? I actually was asking somebody that knows her, why is she changing? She had these uh, policies and ideas for years and years and years and very solid on them. All you have to do is go back and look at your tapes, which many have been discarded because they don't want discarded by the <laughs> fake news because they don't want people to see what she said just a year ago and two years ago. I've never seen anything like it even. I've never even seen it because they discarded it because. Um, <laughs> this might be a little bit of projection because I think if you search Trump tapes, there I, wasn't there like a whole bunch of like uh, recordings from his apprentice years that people were worried were going to leak out. Like, they never leaked those out, I don't never think. Never got leaked out. This, I, hope they, I hope they never do. Let's just I hope say they that. never do. He's not um, really helping himself on the age question by not embracing, understanding the concept of digitizing media and thinking that <laughs> the media can destroy the tapes of Kamala's previous positions <laughs> within the last two years. And we're not going to be able to figure that out. All the tapes. I don't under, I really, I mean, <laughs> when he gave that first press conference, I understood why they were doing it because they wanted to highlight that Kamala Harris had not had any press conferences. It didn't really work. It just sort of like made everybody realize like, oh my God, he really is the old guy in the campaign now. And for the life of me, I have no idea what they're trying to do here. I, I mean, I have no idea. Like, I, I mean, I, I'm aware that he has, um, but is he, are they, are they thinking like we want to put him out there to show people on the fence that he, 
he doesn't he's not going to be crazy like he was last time and all it is is he's crazy but it's low energy he's boring and crazy now i think it's more just like that first they think that they can hit her on the economy because of the inflation numbers and because yes inflation has has reduced a lot, uh, over the past few months like it's 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 eased quite a bit but there are a lot of things that are still really expensive like groceries because of price gouging and of course rent and housing is just out of control so they think that's a weakness but then they also think it's a weakness that she's flip-flopped which i would agree is a weakness the fact that she supported medicare for all then ran for pre president and walked that back supported the green new deal ran for president and walked that back but he can't so so they want to make it about policy that's the thing that's where they feel like they can gain right because he's He's not offering anything new. He's still the same Trump. This is his third presidential run. God help us. Pocketbook issues. But they can't. He can't stay on message. There's first of all, they have nothing to offer. Right. So what her flip flopping matters very little than when both the positions that she f has flopped yeah. towards are superior and more well are to, or, you know, both positions. If she's pro Green New Deal and then now, you know, she's against like a fracking ban. Those are at least positions. What is their position on anything? Because well, you can't hit someone for flip flopping if you have no position on the other side. That's the that's the point. Is that uh, I mean that is exactly the point. When they hit um, John Kerry for flip flopping on the on the on the war, he was for the war before he was against it. Was the um, was the, the the phrase? And then they just sort of like that metastasized into a flip-flop and that becomes the narrative and then they try and fit anything into that narrative and they find one decision here or he said one thing and he corrects it here and it fits into that narrative it's very very hard to create this narrative within uh, a month or two months or three months i mean it's very 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 hard to do it and they they clearly had no plan to do it which was also sort of shocking in and of itself and yes his message his inability to deliver a, a disciplined message also harms that. But but the, the last point is the real point. In 2004, when John Kerry ran and they deployed this flip-flop behind him, the argument was that he has no attachment to a policy or an ideology. And Donald Trump has so blown up the notion that you need that within the context of the Republican Party. It really just is about how you identify. I'm a gun owner. I'm an evangel uh, uh, evangelical. I'm not a lib. I mean, the, uh, you know, I'm not woke. Um, you know, get rid of pronouns. None of these things are, are policies. They're all identity the, the most actually superficial of identity politics. Um, and that is the way that the Trump campaign has generated its support. They just can't get, I mean, they can't get, you, you can't say she's a communist, but she could also be a super capitalist tomorrow. Like it, it doesn't <laughs> scare people in the same fashion. Right. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Um, let's get to, uh, um, let's just do uh, number four, one more clip, and then we'll get to number six. Right. Um, because in this vein, this is relevant to what you're saying, right? Like about how they can't, they don't have a hook in terms of anything policy wise, even though that's what the Times is reporting. Kellyanne Conway is, has been brought back into the fold and she's begging Trump to stick to policy attacks. She went on Fox News to do that, too, because it seems like he's not listening. Right. But they're, they 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 they're that's what, that's what like Kevin McCarthy uh, was saying the other day. And they yes. also had uh, who else? We played another clip of somebody who was saying the same thing. Um, this whole notion that like they're oh, Nikki Haley was criticizing him for 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 and they must know that that's what she he has. There is no other like thing there and and now he's pissed because and this is the best part he's responding to a question from uh, the press about name calling but you know this is like his sort of passive aggressive way of telling his advisors like this is not fair it's literally he's talking to daddy yep. right now yep daddy's not letting me do this and it's not fair go ahead 
Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President. Mr. President. Many of your allies who want you to win in November say your current strategy isn't working, that you need to stop with the personal attacks on Kamala Harris and deliver a more disciplined message. Do you Wait, agree? I'm sorry. And Can also- we just go back a sec? Did you see his reaction to that question with his little shrug here? Yeah, <laughs> that go, got go me. Back, go back. <laughs> yeah, go back. He is so annoyed <laughs> He's like, by this. Yeah, sure. Remember, say your current strategy isn't working, that you need to stop with the personal attacks on Kamala Harris and deliver a more disciplined message. Do you agree? And also, you added more people to your campaign today. Is that a sign of a shifting strategy? No, I think it's a sign of we want to close it out. We had, we have great people. Susie is fantastic, as you know, and Chris is fantastic. They're leading it. Uh, Corey Lewandowski is coming in. Uh, he'll be, He's going to twist you know, some arms. Uh, personal envoy or he'll be at some at some level uh, they're going to be you know they're they're oh, doing a great second. job I, just was, like, like, I keep getting stuck on this uh, cory lewandowski is a personal envoy to whom <laughs> like Abuser. is he a crazy like it sounds like he's like i don't want to talk to the campaign people so i'll have cory talk to them and the cory will talk to me about it <laughs> right He's the I muscle. Sent, uh, Chris Christie. I sent Chris Christie out for a uh, uh, Big Mac, and he never came back. So now I got Corey Lewandowski to be my personal <laughs> advocate. <laughs> uh, he'll be, you know, uh, personal envoy, or he'll be at some at some <laughs> level. Uh, they're going to be, you know, they're uh, they're doing a great job. Look, we've taken with all of the abuse we've taken from the fake news media, oh, all yeah. of this horrific abuse we take. And all I want to do is make the country good. All I want to do is have strong borders and mm-hmm. good education. We want to have choice for education. So important. So many different things. You would think it would be the other way. We rebuilt the military. We did so many great things. But that's the way it's been for Republicans, and I guess more so for me than anybody in history. And that's okay, <laughs> because we're leading in the polls. For the most part, we're leading in the polls. We were leading Biden by a lot. We're leading now. But I think when she's exposed, I think we're going to beat her by a lot more than we would have beaten Biden by because he had a little group of people that have been voting for him for a long time. She doesn't have that. People don't know who she is. Uh, as far as the personal attacks, I mean, uh, because of what she's. Oh, the, fr- the, this video freezes for some reason, but but OK, keeps, uh, yeah, keep going. He keeps going. Yeah, he's done to the country. I'm very angry at her that she'd weaponized the justice system against me and other <laughs> oh, no. people. Very angry at her. Uh, I think I'm entitled to personal attacks. I don't have a lot of respect for her. I don't have a lot of respect for her intelligence. And I think she'll be a terrible president. And I think it's very important that we win. And whether the personal attacks are good, bad. I mean, she certainly attacks me personally. She actually called me weird. He's weird. It was just a sound bite. And she called JD and I weird. He's not weird. He was a great student at Yale. He went to Ohio State, graduated in two years at the top of his class and all of these different things. And, and we have this guy that's running a failed, really a very failed state who's had a terrible career. I mean, you have him saying they're weird. No, he's a weird guy, and she's weird in her policy. Who would? <laughs> oh, there we go. I got to policy. Did you hear me criticize the policy? I said it was weird. <sighs> I mean, first off, he's a nice boy. Went to Yale. This guy cannot get past that. They switched Biden out. I know. He cannot get past it. I know. It's he amazing. He cannot get past it, and he is just so. Uh, a, first off. This is the only time he gets animated during this entire press conference. He looks like you got to like, like check his pulse. And the only time that he gets animated is that he's so angry at what has gone on. Completely unfair. Totally, completely unfair. I'm not weird. She's weird. Uh, JD's not weird. We, the, 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 that other guy, he's weird. Like that failed state. Minnesota's a failed state. He's weird. Yeah. He's I so like the weird. idea that he's not weird because he went to Yale University. Like, again, weird people it's don't just, go to Yale. It's just leaking through how he present. He 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 can't appeal to like the everyman in the way that he tried to posture like that he could before. It's all about I know this guy. Like I was listening to his. I listened to this whole thing last night, and then I listened to his whole anti-Semitism speech as well, where he spends the first 20 minutes like glad-handing and shouting out different people in the crowd, and it's all about who he knows in his little, like, very wealthy, hermetically sealed circle, and 
it, he's just completely out of touch and he can't even You're gesture to towards being in touch because he thinks like the average person's gonna say jd's not weird he went to yale and that's gonna satisfy them no no he tried to go to policy and he's like uh, you know we have expensive health care in this country it's because you know, people work really hard they love to spend it on health care <laughs> right that's him trying to do policy i'm not weird they say i'm weird Oh, God, does that drive him crazy? It does, yeah. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.